All right, guys, welcome to week eight. Um, I was doing, uh, I was having a really rough day uh, one day this week, and I, this perfect song came on, and it just made me remember how much I love music and how that one perfect song can come and really um, change things for you and your mood swings. So I decided to do a music page this week for our Art of Healing because music does soothe and heal. So um, I started in my Delusions Journal and I am using the Distress Shimmer sprays. And this is the first time I've ever used these sprays. And I did not realize, but they're very, very pale. Um, so what I did was I sprayed them all over the page to get a little bit of shimmer. And then I rolled my paper towel over them to to give them a little bit of texture. And then I pulled out my regular sprays that are a little bit darker and started darkening up the background. I dried it several times in between and I alternated the regular dilution sprays with the um, shimmer sprays and dried it in between and just kind of darkened up the layers as I went. It was kind of, um, time consuming on the part of, you know, obviously you have to dry them and, and things like that. So, um, but it turned out absolutely beautiful and you really can see the shimmer. The shimmer is really, I'm like in love with these new shimmer paints that I, or sprays that I got. Um, I've been wanting to try them for a while, but I've been putting it off getting them. So I, in, I was at Michael's the other day and they had a set that was on sale. So, and then I had a coupon. So I was really excited to get them and try them out. And um, the, the result was just absolutely beautiful. So I just continue to layer the shimmer sprays. And as you can see, the page is very, very wet. So definitely um, in, in my journals, I do, I skip every other page because I glue the pages together because I want them to be thicker. So it's not a big deal that it got really wet because once it was dry, it was really dry and permanent and nice. Um, it just took a little bit of time of layering and everything like that. So um, I don't know if you can see the shimmer here, but you'll be able to see it when I show it to you later. Then I decided to use this musical stamp, which is a piano key. And what I did was I stamped it on a piece of um, just regular like tag, uh, just a little tag that I had. And I used my Neo2 color, watercolor pencils or crayons and colored it in white and then used my wet brush and just cleared it in so that I got a white keyboard out of it and then I used my scissors to cut it out and I actually created two of these and um, so that I would have one for the bottom of each page in my journal and that journal is a five by seven so it's not as large as the other journal that I was using but as you can see you can see how my page um, is really shimmery and um, I just love the background so I used my distress medium as I always do to glue down my keyboards and I put the Distress Medium over the top of them because I want to make sure that they're non-porous so that later I can go in and shade them. And then I used my little musical stamp that I already had in stock um, to stamp the musical notes. And then I drew in some musical notes with my pit pen, which is just my normal black um, Faber-Castell pit pen that I use to do shading and all of that. So I just hand drew those in. They're not perfect, but they don't have to be. Remember, this is an art journal. And then as always, I went back and did my white highlights with my gel pen just to make those pop a little bit more. And then used my brown pit pen to highlight around each of the piano keyboards so that it would kind of make it um, stand out a little bit more. I just did some shadowing. And then I used my gray to kind of darken them up a little bit so they looked a little bit more antique -y. And then um, I went and decided to do my title for my stamping, which is Music Soothes the Soul. And I wanted music and soul to be um, really bold and stand out. So I used my Versamark ink and I inked up my stamps with my Versamark and I poured on some white embossing powder to do that. And as you can see, it stands out really good, but then once it's embossed, it looks really, really nice. I did miss a little bit on the eye there and that's fine because I'm gonna go back and correct that in a minute and I'll show you how to do that. But um, once I did that, I wrote Sue's the in just my handwriting. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And then I did the word soul after that. And I did it the same way that I did music. I Versa marked, I uh, used my Versa ink and then put on my embossing powder and put that 
in there and then just heated that up and it embossed it and made it pop really, really nicely. I just love the way it turned out. And then I just went back and re marked and re-embossed the eye and caught the section that I did not do. The great thing about clear stamps is you can see where you're stamping so you're able to do that. So it was easy to correct that little mistake and that wasn't any big deal. So then I took some white gesso and I just sprayed a little bit of water on it to make it um, really loose and I just added some white splatters to just finish the page up and that worked really well. Those splatters did kind of turn out to, um, to be a little bit less light once it dried because of the inks, but that's okay. Here are some close-ups. I really love the embossing letters on this and the shimmer sprays. They turned out beautifully, so I'm very happy. So I hope that you guys will try your own page this week, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a great week.